before we go in, let's talk about uh, teleportation memes and also aggro. So this guy, aggro's, uh, well, that guy, the guy that has a melee weapon, he aggro's on the furthest target away. Uh, the one with the bow, I have no idea, because he's always in range, because he has a range weapon, right? So it's kind of irrelevant. So what we want to do is we want to go on the guy with the bow, so that the one with the hammer gets to us, and we just kind of kill them both at the same time, right? So the idea of this fight is that we have to kill them both at the same time. If we don't, the other one is gonna get very angry, is gonna enrage, is gonna go in the middle and start going nuts, right? It's gonna smash his hammer all over the place, smash his bow all over the place, depending on which one it is. And it might be a little bit difficult, so... What we wanna do is we wanna go over to arrow marker. Because that's where the bow guy is gonna go at the beginning of the fight, he's gonna do, like, kind of like short bow 3 from ranger. So he's gonna go back a little bit, so we go to arrow, he gets there. Then the one with the hammer is gonna jump to the furthest target away. When I say target, I mean spirits, pets, mesmer clones, I mean anything counts. So you wanna make sure that you're with the group at the beginning, and that your spirits are with the group at the beginning, otherwise the one with the hammer might randomly go at the entrance, or somewhere else. What is my pet doing, dude? It's stuck in the pylon still. Um, the Sir Justin count? I don't know, but it might. I think Sir Justin is like more relevant in spirits when it comes to counting it for stuff. But it's just like the same. But yeah, don't play Sir of Justice randomly at the entrance, because that would be... I mean, why, would, why the fuck would you do that, Marx? Come on. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so we go on arrow, we kill them both, uh, or try to anyway. After a little bit, they're both gonna teleport. So, the one with the hammer is gonna teleport on the new arrow marker, so exactly in the center, right? The one with the bow is gonna go over to circle. So, the one with the hammer is gonna, the one with the hammer is gonna stay in the middle, do a bunch of uh, rotations around, throw projectiles all over the place. If you stand too close to it, he actually has an AOE that knocks you back, so don't do that. Uh, but we're gonna go quickly to the hammer guy when he teleports in the middle, do a little bit of damage on it. And then we're gonna go over to the circle marker, which is where the bow guy is standing on, right? Because we can kill that one easier. And also, that way we make it so that the hammer guy jumps towards us again. Because again, he has a melee weapon, so he can't range. So he's gonna have to jump to us, and then we start killing both of them together again, right? Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. Now... At this point, we might get close to killing the one with the bow. But remember, we need to kill them both at the same time, or as close at the same time as we possibly can. Otherwise, one of them is going to enrage, and then it's kind of a mess. So let's try to focus the one that has the most HP. So if it's the one with the bow, kill the one with the bow. If it's the one with the hammer, kill the one with the hammer. Or kill both at the same time if they're like both about to die, right? Uh, the other teleport is going to be the one that's on circle stays on circle, so the bow guy. And the one that went in the middle... The one with the hammer is gonna go over to a uh, new circle marker. Well, let's, let's put a different one. Let's put heart. It's gonna go to heart. So, depending on which one has the most HP, we wanna go towards that one and kill that one, right? We wanna make it so they die uh, together as much as possible. Now, attacks of the hammer boy. Hammer boy has... Uh, what is it? Hammer 3 of Scrapper. So, he does little spins uh, on like the target that he's aggroed on, and then the last hit... Uh, knocks people down in like a cone in front of him. So if you time it correctly You can actually Aegis, uh, I want to say your subgroup, but unfortunately that's not how it works because the tome is bugged You can actually Aegis um, Everyone that's standing in front of you, right? Uh, if you time it correctly or you can just stability it or you can just dodge if you're feeling fancy, I guess um, And yeah, that way you avoid the knockdown and you can do a lot of damage, right? And also on this guy, which is the bow guy, again, he has ranged attacks. We will actually see this at the very beginning. He shoots a lot of projectiles towards players. If you get caught by the projectile, it does a lot of damage. If you're standing in, like, all of them. Kind of like the previous strike uh, that I explained. The one with the giant ice guy. If you stand in more projectiles, they do more damage, right? So, if you get hit by one of them, it doesn't do that much damage, but you get immobed. Right? You don't want to be immobed. And also, if you walk over the AoEs... 
that it already shot on the ground, right? So let's say you didn't actually get hit by it, but you walk over when it's on the ground, you get immobed anyway, right? You get immobed again. So don't purposely walk into the mobilize, because it's annoying, or if you're a fireman, you can give resistance to your team. Or Condi Cleanse, if you have any kind of Condi Cleanse, that's always good. Uh, so yeah, and also, yeah, these projectiles, you can actually reflect them back, um, or you can... You can reflect them, you can negate them with like stuff 5 on Druid again. I'm gonna do that at the beginning, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, that's always good. And that's pretty much the whole fight. Now, what happens if one of them actually enrages? If one of them enrages again, they go in the middle. And I will explain this here, so it's not as confusing. So let's say I am the boss in the center, right? I am the commander tag in the center. So he's gonna teleport over there, and we're gonna take the hammer guy as an enrage example, because that's the one that enrages the most. I'm the boss. I'm gonna do a giant cone attack in one direction out of four, right? So this area, then I'm gonna turn around, it's gonna be that area, then I'm gonna turn around, it's gonna be this area, and so on, right? When I complete the last one, when all four uh, sections are fully done, I've done a full rotation, me, the boss, will do a giant shockwave, um, you know, from from myself, from the boss, generally it's from the middle. So you actually have to dodge that, or you tank it, and there's a very high chance that you die uh, if you're not full HP. So you want to make sure that after he is done all four of the attacks, so again, this direction, this, this, and this, you count to two, and then you dodge the shockwave. But don't dodge backwards, because otherwise, you know, the shockwave, like, goes this way, so if you dodge that way, it might eventually hit you anyway. You want to dodge either inside of his hitbox from the outside, or sideways, which is what you should do on like most bosses anyway, because it's good. And for positioning in this phase, so do you guys remember, I'm going to remove all the markers, do you guys remember which direction the boss is going to hit first with his giant hammer? Right? Go to the direction that he's going to hit first, right? Like send on the quadrant, he's gonna, he's gonna hit first. Okay, everyone is going over here, right? So let's say that the boss hits this area first, right? Which one will be the last one if it goes clockwise? Okay, so this is the area where the boss is gonna hit last. So if you stand there since the beginning. When the boss is doing this direction, this direction, this direction, you basically just ignore all of those, right? The only one you have to deal with is the one at the end, right? So you want to position yourself to the one at the end. Then, when he's actually hitting the one at the end, you move over here. Even though there is a visual effect of like the AoE still being there, it's actually, it's actually going away. It's just an animation. So you can actually go over here, so you avoid the last slam, and it's also the only one you have to deal with. And after two seconds, when he's doing the shockwave, all you have to do is count one, two, and dodge back into that same spot, right? So that he starts again, he starts doing this direction, he does this one, he does this one. The only one you have to deal with is the one where you're standing at, right? So you just kind of like avoid the whole mechanic. That is if the enrage does happen, which... It most likely will. So that's how you deal with it. If you if you get really confused, you don't know what to say, just stand on commander tag and it will all be good. Now, little recap meme before we start. We go in, we go on arrow marker. The boss comes back to us with a little like short put three thingy projectile, and then he starts shooting projectiles all over the place. I'm gonna stuff five that so it doesn't immobilize us or firebrand can reflect. It's probably better because it covers like a bigger area anyway. The hammer guy aggro's on the furthest target, so he's actually gonna jump towards us, try to cleave them both at the same time. They then split. One goes in the middle, the other one goes over there, on like west. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to arrow, do a little bit of damage to it, then we instantly move to circle, because the one in the middle starts doing a little knockback thing, and it's really annoying, and we get knocked all over the place, and then we die, right? So we go to circle, focus the circle guy, until the hammer guy jumps back in, and then we try to cleave both of them at the same time again. Depending on which one is about to die, so let's say bow one is about to die, we focus the hammer one. Hammer one is about to die, we focus the bow one. We want to make sure that they die both at the same time, right? If they teleport again, go to whichever one has the most HP. And let's try to kill the one with the most HP. 
I want to make sure that they die at the same time, right? Keep that in mind. Otherwise, enrage happens. Also, also, let's go. Let's go. No, oh, let me place the arrow over there again. Now stop fight this. There you go, hammer, bo hammer boy. Focus the hammer boy. The one more on the right. That's the scrapper three hammer attack. You can age just the end one. That's another out attack meme. Don't move away from the group. You have literally no reason to ever do that. All right, now go in the middle real fast. Do a little bit of damage on this one. And then instantly move to the circle boy. When the AoE appears, that's a big knockback AoE, right? You don't want to be in there. Now uh, the range guy is going to shoot projectiles. I'm going to stuff five them. And now he's going to come closer. Right, focus the hammer guy again now. Do big damage to the hammer boy. Kind of cleaving both at the same time. Now soon they will teleport away again. Now which one has the most HP? Let's go to that one. The one far away has the most HP, so let's go to this one, let's kill him. Now, when Enrage happens, keep in mind what I told you, right? Go to the side that he's gonna hit the last, which is actually on the arrow side. Right, go to the arrow side, so that you avoid all of these that he's doing right now, because they do a lot of damage. Now, move to the side, dodge the Shockwave, one, two, now, and then the boss is dead, right? So you don't even have to dodge the Shockwave. Yeah, if that happens, that is the enrage. Just move it to the side that is gonna hit last. So, the side that he hits first is west, right? So it's arrow. The side that he hits last is south. Right, it goes clockwise, go all the way around. So when he's about to hit this one, you move over here, so you avoid the attack. Then after he's done that attack, you count one, two, and you dodge back into the same spot. Right, so you dodge a shockwave, and you're also positioned uh, you're also positioned for uh, for the next one.